I hooked a pretty big fish, guys, on the Parajee 2 rod right here. Got him. Oh. 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 This is what you call a flatted catfish on the Parajee. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so you might be wondering, why am I even thinking about doing this, okay? Isn't this normally a bass fishing rod? Yeah, sure it is, but at the same time, it's also saltwater approved because of the way that it's built. It can also handle, and I've seen from other Cast King brand ambassadors, that it can handle saltwater fishing for redfish, you know, all kinds of different species like that. So this is really more of a really strong multi-purpose rod. And so when it comes down to multi-purpose, come on guys, what do I do? I'm the Catterman here. I'm the resident catfish angler for Casking USA. And today, we're gonna put this Perigee 2 multi-purpose twin tip rod with a medium heavy tip through the ringer on some big river flathead catfish. Oh, we do it. I mean, I hope this is going to work out, right? I just noticed that it, it's it's pretty stiff. You know, the, the, the carbon matrix blank makes this rod pretty stiff. And so I was thinking, you know, if it's this stiff, it can probably cast some weight. And um, I did a couple of practice casts right now in the backyard. And it can throw three ounces. The tip's a little soft. I mean, you know, like the, the tip is very thin. I don't know if you can see it right here. It is very, very thin, but it can cast about two to three ounces. I would say two ounces with a big chunk of bait. When you get this rod, you're not only getting the medium heavy tip, but if you go for the dual tip, for $60, you're technically getting two rods in one. And that's because, as you can see in this very well-packed box over here, I have the medium tip. And uh, you know, to be completely honest, there's not a big difference in action between the tips. But as you can see right here, there's the medium tip. We're going to place it back in there because I'm only using the medium heavy tonight. We're not going to try medium. So tell me guys in the comments as you're watching this video right now, do you think that this rod over here will be able to handle some big flathead catfish? Let me know down below. Let's get on the river. As always, we got to do the lucky catfish call to bring in some catfish. <laughs> I'm wondering if this is a flathead or a channel catfish. I think it's a flathead. The head shakes feel like a flathead. Yep. I knew it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Man. This guy's a serious fighter. Hey, still. Pretty flathead catfish. Huh? Pretty little flathead. Oh! I hooked a pretty big fish, guys, on the Perigee 2 rod right here. Oh, man. Man, he just took... Whoa! <laughs> man, this is a strong fish, guys. Nope, 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 no, 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 There he is. Got him. Oh, oh, oh. This is what you call a flatted catfish on the Perigee 2 rod. Oh. All right, let's let this buddy go. Oh, man, he wants to bite me, too. He's angry at me. Jeez, all right, relax. Here we got another bite coming up over here on the left rod. Oh. Got this flathead. Oh. Boils for days, man. Oh, yeah, that's another, that's another nice flathead. It's fun on the parody rod. I gotta really admit. There's another beautiful flathead catfish right in the corner of the mouth. Buddy, do you mind turning around for a quick picture? That's a beautiful photo shoot, now, isn't it? Wow, guys, gotta tell you something. That parody rod is freaking tough. I mean, these fish are in pretty heavy current digging down and that rod has no problem whatsoever even with those head shakes you know the only thing that I kind of 
I'm upset about this. I should have gotten the shorter version because I think the seven foot is a little bit too long for the kayak, but you know what? We will make do with whatever we've been given. Slap on a new bait over here. Let's catch some more flatheads. Oh my god, guys, we got another fish. Oh, we got a drag screamer. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh guys, I think we got a big fish of the evening. Oh, no. Oh, I don't have that much 40 pound braid on here. Moment. Oh, he dives down again. Yep. I'm just going to have to let him take some line. He's right underneath us now. Yeah, this guy's not coming up. <laughs> he just stuck down there in the current. Uh, my rod is just pointing straight down. Okay, so I don't like this. He's coming up way too quickly, too easily. Yep, there he goes. Whoa! Oh! Oh! This rod is like bent in half. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, jeez, that's a big fish. He saw me. And he was just like, nope, I don't feel like dealing with that. That is Catterman. Here's a beautiful Schuylkill River flathead on the Perigee rod. Let's get a nice picture of this bad boy. And then um, got some business to take care of on the other rod over there. All right, so the guides that you see right here on this model equal nine guides. They are Fuji O-line ring guides with the inserts. You can really feel that they're really high quality. They're not gonna get rubbed apart and they are great and very compatible with braid. As you can see right here, I've got this rod paired up with a Casking Sharky 3 bait feeder. Now this has got 40 pound braid on it. We're gonna talk about the specifics of this rod and I can tell you that this braid is a little bit too thick for this rod in my opinion. But other than that, you know, it's a great combo. The 3000 size is perfect for the seven foot medium heavy and yeah, I love it. Next thing I really want to highlight on this rod, and that's be simply because of the fact that it's a two-piece rod, and that is this right here. This is called a spigot ferrule. And as you can see, there's a space right here, and that's really important to keep that space. You do not want to push this together. I know it might look like you want it to go together. Don't do that. The way that this design, this new technology in the market works, is that because of this, connection you're going to get the most sensitivity still out of your blank so this two-piece rod right here is still going to feel like a one-piece rod and the fact that it is a carbon matrix blank 24 ton by the way also allows you to really feel everything now due to the fact that it is a carbon matrix blank you're going to get a little bit of a stiffer action out of it but this is a fast action rod when it comes to cosmetic design, I really love the connection right here. I love having that grip right here and really being able to use my index finger when I'm holding this rod along the blank to really feel anything going on on the other end of that rod and of that line. So if you're interested in purchasing this rod, which the link to that is down below in the description, it's an Amazon link, 